the New Balance Fresh Foam 1080 version th version 9. Hey folks, Jimmy Mac here. Welcome to the Daily Dot Runs in the Rotation, and today we are going to be talking about the New Balance Fresh Foam 1080 version th version 9. That can't be right. Okay, gripe one, calling the shoe a version <laughs> a version 9 when it is the third time that you've used uh, this complete redesign. I, I would call it version 3. But you know, who who am I? You know, I'm that's why I'm here and not not an executive at New Balance, I suppose. Um, but is it the best high mileage daily trainer out there? Maybe. <laughs> Let's talk about what's good about the shoe, all right? So, first thing, this shoe is soft. Soft. I mean, it's like, it's soft. And, you know, it's surprisingly responsive. Now, I don't wanna, I don't wanna say that it's bouncy, you know, it's, it's definitely not, you know, like a vapor fly or anything with react foam to it. Um, <clears throat> so maybe, maybe we won't call it bouncy. Let's, let's say that the shoe definitely has some rebound, which is a major plus from version one. If you ever tried the, the first of the 1080, I mean, you probably noticed that like the shoe was soft, but once you put your foot down and you landed, you kind of stuck there with, with this thing. I mean, when you walk around in it, you know, you might not really feel that there's a little pop to it, but uh, once you start running in it, it, it really does really does let you have some giddy up and go. All right, second thing that's awesome about the shoe is the upper. Up until you get to the tongue. But everything up here is fantastic. When you put the shoe on and you lace it up, your foot is locked down and you are just solid, good to go. And... <clears throat> The durability of the shoe, the traction on this outsole is just ridiculous. Sticky. Like, in a good way. I mean, uh, nothing nothing gross um, <laughs> happening on the bottom of this shoe. Uh, but it will stick to just about anything. And it lasts for a long time. And I've had this sucker since... Ooh, four months now? Yeah, we're in March. Four months. I've had this sucker for four months and it is still going strong. Is it the best daily trainer out there? There might be something better. I, I don't have it. I am head over heels in love with a lot of this shoe. There are some things though that they could improve. First, what I cannot stand about the shoe is the upper right after the tongue. This whole area, this whole neoprene thing that they have going on is, it's, it's like you're putting on a wetsuit, feels like a knee brace, or I don't know, like some, some weird, let me say it's not for me, but once you start actually running in the shoe, you don't notice it at all. Uh, when you're walking around, it could feel a little bit strange. It's, you know, it's a running shoe, not a walking shoe. So where does this shoe fit into the rotation? I wear this sucker almost every day. This is the shoe that I put on when I, when I have my lunch break. So I will do everything in this sucker from like a four or five mile easy run to an eight mile tempo if I, uh, if I get a little frustrated earlier in the day. Yeah, you know, I think, I think I totally love it. Am I gonna buy it again? I think so. I don't see anything else coming up in 2019, at least that I'm aware of, that is uh, on par or potentially better. I gotta tell you, New Balance, I'm very happy with this. If you're gonna change anything for <clears throat> version four, don't call it version 10, to fix this little area back here, and that's it. For what it is, a high mileage daily trainer with a lot of durability, it's awesome. Well, I think that about wraps it up. Uh, hope you enjoyed it, and check out some more. All right, have a good one.